Let's do the right side. Now that we've seen what the left side is, it's basically just a bunch of dudes. The left side actually changes up a, a little bit. Well, this is the right side. Right side changes it up a little bit. Ha ha ha, gotcha! Do you know you're left from your right? Hopefully you don't, otherwise that joke didn't work. I can't tell from my center from my below. What are you currently sitting on right now? You're upside down? I don't know. I'm what are directions? I'm, 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 I'm sitting sideways. <laughs> but I'm also doing a handstand. Holy upside shit. down. I didn't know it was left well, playing I'm with turned an axe upside upside down. Oh, and then God. twisted off to a 90 degree angle, and it's just slanted at a Dutch angle. <laughs> Everything is wrong, why? I have no sense of direction, I have no sense of spatial location. And I thought I got confused when looking at a map. I'm just all over the place, up, down, all around. And I still can't figure out the stupid Tom Tom. <laughs> I get lost with the GPS for God's sake, how? I try to ask where my location is, and it says undefined. What? I... I... I'm not going anywhere? Please contact your local government for potential invasion prospects. What? What? New oh land must be... Was, must be sustained for the... What the hell? Yeah, you see that too? What the hell? Here's your second trial. Dangerous poisonous fog. And this little wolf friend has a barrier around him. He goes pretty fast, so you gotta kinda rush to keep up with him. But... The second half of your trials is to kill enemies while in a protective cloud of not toxic gas. And we're gonna be doing that for basically the entirety of this run, so... Just know that there are two collectibles that you can get in the fog. You can wait until you're done with the fog section in order to get them. You can go back and get them. So for now, just focus on surviving and not getting hurt. Don't do what I do, because uh, this was the first time I had played this section, so I thought, oh shoot, I'm going to miss them. You will not miss them, don't worry. You can go back and get them. So while this part's going, I've got a topic to talk about. Oh boy. <laughs> it's always fun when you are given misinformation and you tell it to a wide audience. Not only that, but when you give them the extremely condensed version and then all of a sudden people are thinking, no, that's not right, you're wrong. Well, you're the authority on, on Doom News, don't you know? I absolutely love it when I get misinformation and I tell it to everybody. And of course they tell me nowadays that it's wrong because of something that recently happened. So let's talk about it because fuck. This got neat. Uh, well, not neat, but it's interesting to watch from the sidelines. Just watch this whole thing crumble. I barely on even itself. know what the what the controversy was in the first place and what the misinformation was. For those of you who don't know, I don't know, and I was a part of such discussions allegedly. Mick Gordon came out with an onslaught of information on November the 9th, 2022. Yesterday. Yesterday. And the entire world got flipped upside down because this isn't your normal, no, they have it wrong, let me tell you my side of story. He came with almost a courtroom full of information. What the hell? He has multiple pages and paragraphs going over events before, after, during, whatever you want to know, he's got the information. He actually has it, like, notated, bullet-pointed, and also gives you a too-long-didn't-read version. Oh, how handy. How handy. I'm going to go over that version. Thought it his eyes and crossed his T's. He, whoa, he came out swinging. And this is all at id's expense. They did some bad. So let's talk about their bad. Yeah, look, at there's multiple sections. The table of contents for this actual brutalization of id Software and Mick Gordon getting screwed over. The game's development, the OST, the aftermath, a factual rebuttal, and then a TLDR. So let's go over the TLDR real quick. Yes, I mean, we only have 20 minutes or so left. He hasn't been paid for over half the music in Doom Eternal. No, that's come on. nasty. Come on, don't that's, do that. That's gross. Pay your pay your people, man. Yeah. So uh, what I didn't know is if songs do not get used, you do not get paid for the songs. Now that sounds like you know obviously duh logical yes. 
Uh, but it turns out they actually did use some of the music that was going to go unused, so that sucks. Well, if you, if you use it, then you pay for it. That's, that's the long and the short of it. Yeah. Uh, the Doom Eternal OST, which was... Although, a, a vi- oh, although yeah. uh, real question. Yeah. If you have a song that is unused in the soundtrack, or in, in the game, but is included in the soundtrack, do you still use it? That is technically using it, so you gotta pay your guy. Mm-hmm. The OST that was available for pre-order before the game came out, that was that decision was made before Mick Gordon was contacted to make the OST. Oh. Oh god. That created the nine-month delay before being able to work on the official OST. Yeah, yeah, you can pre-order the soundtrack. Hey, Mick, could you make it for us, please? Please. <laughs> yeah, so listen to these bullet points. After seven months of inaction, I reported my concerns to Bethesda. Bethesda and I negotiated the Doom Eternal OST directly without the head of id's involvement. I received the contract to do the OST on March 18th, 2020. 48 hours before Doom Eternal released. Jesus! What the fuck? He did this in two days? Are you kidding? His deadline... That sounds amazing! He destroyed it! His deadline was April 16th, 29 days later. Wow! Holy shit! So, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. So, if he crapped he, all this out in a, in a month... Okay. He, uh, he fucking did, he fucking killed it. This is this is a great soundtrack. So, so that, his, his, his efforts bore fruit. I mean, I'm am so, sorry they were under such stressful circumstances, but at least it's at least it was good. So this was I mean, for the because because at, at least it wasn't like oh my god the soundtrack is so terrible. Why would you have, like it you know got really bagged on and you know people started to you know uh, blame Mick Gordon. Then we'd have a probably a pretty nasty lawsuit on our hands. De- I, I guess definitely. So the the whole debacle was the fact that the official OS released outside of the game because worked on the game soundtrack the OST is completely different we're talking the most high quality versions of every song right that's the one they didn't contract him to work on and it turned out shitty and that's why people were slinging his name through the mud Mm. so the poor quality release of the OST and only giving him less than a month to do it he asked for assistance and he said hey I need help and of course, I mean, he asked he asked the uh, then head of Doom is or uh, id excuse me he's like hey can you release a statement saying what the fuck is going on here and then we can actually work on this thing uh that didn't happen <laughs> instead of uh, going for the helpful route uh, the uh, person named Marty uh, released an open letter on a fan run Reddit that blamed Mick for the entire botched OST. Oh, What a fucking dirtbag. Come on, Marty. Worst of all, he did it behind my back whilst leading me on with a bullshit story about working together on a professional solution to the problem. Oh. His statements were full of lies, disinformation, and innuendo. And when challenged, his company offered me a six-figure sum to shut up about it. <laughs> Fuck that. So now the so the check bounced, and here I am. <laughs> here I am. That ruined his image. In fact, it ruined it so much, we talked about it. We, we d- briefly yeah. and extremely condensed to the point where people called me wrong. Which, you know, that's my own damn fault. I mean, we're playing a game here. I mean, we're, we're playing a game here. I'm talking so- over it. Uh, that is so scummy. And the reason I'm more inclined to believe, you know, the actual victim here instead of, you know, somebody who claims something and immediately rats themselves out (coughs) is, uh, the mountain of evidence. And the fact that he's not looking for war. He actually says that at the beginning of the statement saying, I'm I'm not here, I'm not here to start a war. I'm here to just give my side. Set the record straight. Set the record straight. I mean, I, That's I, all I, he wants. I'm a, I'm a pure blood Saganist. Exemplary claims mm-hmm. require exemplary evidence, and this seems like exemplary evidence. Marty's words, d- judging that you know that you're looking at the evidence, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, but. Marty's words damaged my character and attacked my reputation. I have afforded him ample opportunity to address this issue, but his refusal to do so has left me with no option other than to issue this statement. To rip, to rip and tear to until it is done. To rip and tear 
and not use legality, surprisingly. He's just like, hey, I'm just telling you what I know. Well, he's taking the high road, and well, it's uh, the higher road that anybody has taken when it comes to him, that's for sure. Yep, I wouldn't have done that. Sue him all the way to the bank, holy shit. Well, if I said anything disparaging about Mick, now that I know, I know the record's straight, I know I should always trust uh, the Whew. the individual, not the company. Mm-hmm. Wow. So yeah, that was my uh, that was my Wednesday yesterday. <laughs> What'd you do on your day? <laughs> on your day? Oh, I just played Sonic Frontiers. Really? Oh, okay. Well, that, that makes perfect it sense. Was, it was it was a good day. I spent uh -huh. all day playing it. Uh huh. Yeah. So actually, so did I. Like I, I so like I had stopped playing, and then Violet was like, "Why don't you keep playing?" And I'm like, "Oh, okay. I will. Well, I can so do I that." Playing. I've already gotten a few comments, and I know this video will come out about a month after this entire thing happens. <laughs> Just know, yes, I'm aware. Yes, I know I screwed up with a condensed version of a condensed version of what I said. It has now been fixed, and good job on the OST, Mick Gordon. It still fucking kicks ass. Condensed criminal oranges. <laughs> it's just a little psychopath. <laughs> All right, here, here's another action it's a, part of the stage. It's a little, it's a little psychopath with uh, poor MP3 quality audio. <laughs> Rip and tear, motherfuckers! We got him. Yeah, it's just uh, it's another action stage. I, I just want to talk about goddamn that is that is so brutal to have your name thrown through the mud and then you come back with no actually. I really hope we finish this series soon enough and that this this situation doesn't devolve further. <laughs> I know. Because otherwise, I worry that by the time we get halfway through the second part of the Ancient Gods, we're gonna be like, So anyway, so anyway John said to Mick uh -huh. that that's not true and that he's lying, but then Mick was like, I have receipts, and John's like, oh yeah, well, I have receipts, and now they're in, like, this legal battle, but it turns out that their lawyer and his lawyer were, like, having a tryst together, and so that's mm -hmm. kind of complicating oh, things, yep. and now yep. what's happening is that they hired a new lawyer, and then uh, John also hired a new lawyer, oh, but now my God. Ed is suing John's lawyer because he had that tryst with that other lawyer, and now Mick is upset that the logs of that... Of that call were in such poor quality, and now we and, and now they're suing for legal rights for those things, and now they had to hire another new lawyer, and then they all got into a tryst together. Absolutely amazing. And yeah. oh, and oh my god, it is just so incredible. And you know, my sister, my, you know, my, my my brother's sister, you know, Megan, she told me, she told me that she knows one of the guys who's on the team, and they said that they're gonna try and find a new legal team, but they're gonna find a bunch of asexuals who don't get into tryst. <laughs> but, it but it turns out. They are, that everyone just gets into tris in, in the legal world. You didn't know that. I bet you didn't. And then John Romero went on to Twitter Blue and said, in fact, I actually am the icon of sin. And then it's just like, what can you believe you anymore? Know, I heard John Romero paid $16 a month. Oh my god, he's in Elon's pocket. <laughs> what are we gonna do? It's probably not gonna age well either. You know? No, it's not gonna age well because <laughs> Twitter Blue, by the time this comes out, it's fucking canceled. By, by the time it comes out, <laughs> matter of fact, before this episode, I got, uh, I got signed up for co-host. <laughs> I got I got the email. I'm verified now. I'm good. I, oh shit! Yeah, no right. way! <laughs> That's amazing. Cohost.com/slash UDJ. Yeah, uh, just, I I just am fucking embarrassed, and it's not even my fault really. I mean, yeah, I gave a half-assed explanation of the situation, but I don't want to spread lies. It's not what I'm here for. I'm here to talk the good word about a game I really like, and go figure. I thought two years was enough to have everything just kind of die down, but no, it wasn't long enough. Fuck! It wasn't uh, done. They weren't it, done ripping it. It wasn't done. Well, it's it's finished now. At least, fucking hope so. Jeez. And, uh, well, then again, you know them lawyers. You know, you just can't trust them. Yeah, sometimes. they come they're... knocking away. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna rip and tear your new asshole. Knocking boots, I'd say. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Holy shit, Ed! Get your best people on the horn. Bethesda can't help you now. No, not that horn. Oh no. No, no, don't do it. Anyway, range two, am I right? Jesus. Ugh, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and speed this up. This section... So last time we had, like, three tyrants at the same time. This time they throw a couple arc vials your way. Along with, uh, I think one spirit? I don't think we'll see it in this, uh, sped-up footage here. It it's another difficult fight, so I decided... We've seen ripping and tearing before. We can go ahead and, uh go f past fast this. It's it's fine. Go so, fast past this. Yeah, there we go. That's English. 
If something had been teared, it is torn, right? Mm-hmm. If something was ripped, it is ripped. Not like rop. Yeah, right. It's not rop, it's ripped. Not rorp. Not rorp. Rooped? Mm. D it depends on how many uh, it, vowels it, you want to use. It has been roop. Rooped. <laughs> Oh my god, it's... No, okay, so, out of nowhere, tomorrow, I bet you anything, Microsoft's gonna sell Bethesda because of all this nonsense, and then just, it's like, okay, yeah, we can't say good things about Bethesda, or it, or anybody else, and, you know, the game industry's terrible, and everybody lies, House was right. Well, does not mean that I can't say anything good about any part of Bethesda? Like, does it mean I can't say anything good about Tango Gameworks? No, you can say good things about Tango, they're fine. Uh, Alright, I gotta find some good things first. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a, a hypothetical there. That, 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 was a, that, that, was a, that, that was a joke. I, I can say things about Tango, but uh, should I? I can, I can say good things about Tango now because I played Ghostwire, but... Not, hey! But, uh, Ghostwire! After playing Evil Within 1, I didn't have much to say Fuck. about him. Ugh. <laughs> you know, I actually did get one person saying that the Evil Within was good. One whole person. Oh, how much has you? How much have you played of Evil Within? <laughs> now me, I beat the game. Oh, <laughs> fucking blows. I remember getting absolutely shit faced and then and then like walking into five different mines, and I was like, God, this game sucks. And lo and behold, it was. Hey, uh, we got a boss. Oh, we do. Yeah, giant cube with eyeball inside. Hmm. Shoot giant eyeball. I think probably the <sighs> the, the annoying part of this boss is you have. Uh, Hell Knights and Spectres attacking you at the same time. And Spectres just kind of mess you up a little bit. So just use use the, the big shooty bang bangs, kill the eyeball, and then punch the block into the shield in the middle. It looks like you're missing. Uh, I know, just, I know, but here, just, just punch the thing. Bam, okay, got yeah, it. Perfect. And then another cube shows up, and more cubes will show up. This is a weird boss, guys. Huh. This, this ain't one of your best. I'm not gonna lie here. I hate it when pinkies hit you, because it messes up your vision and everything, and they're just obnoxious. So if they wanted to make this harder, they certainly did. But how do they mess up your vision? Like the screen shake? Yeah. Because can't you turn that off? Uh, no, not for them. Huh. I mean, it's a general option to take out the screen shake, but when they hit you, it just, like, goes... Well, that ain't nice. You know, it's like stubbing your toe, and you're just like... Ah, ah, mm. mm. You're like your funny bone. Oh, oh it's... Bone. Ah. Mm. Ah. Mm. Or, you know, you have a wooden desk, and then you hit your knee directly on the corner of that wooden desk. Oh, I hate this. I I've done that a couple times, and I, I wanted to die. It felt so painful. But not nearly as painful as fighting this boss and having to deal with all the little mini demons. Because now you got two at the same time. Oh, great. That's great! No, I love this. Actually, I hate it. This is stupid. Yeah, this is bad. Why, why, <laughs> why, would, why would you do this? Why? why? <laughs> Just why? The true transgressions of id Software shows up right now. They made you fight cubes. I mean, this is a really good level. I really enjoyed, you know... It, it doesn't feel impactful to shoot them, though. It's no, just, it doesn't. It's it kind of feels boink. like I'm missing. It's kind of boink. I don't like it. It's bad. Yeah, this isn't that good. If the ending of this level wasn't as awesome as it was, I'd say that this would be the first level that I would fully have skipped on in the dev room. Because, man, I sure am shooting some cubes. And also running out of, uh, running out of, uh, ammo. It's, it's like it's taking too what? long to kill them. They have all these tough enemies as well. Do, 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 do these guys respawn all the time? Yeah. Oh, come on! They're continuously respawning. Oh, losing it! Yeah, just to add to, uh, add to the little bit of difficulty curve. Thankfully, they got plenty of fodder demons. I, I can feel like we could have just ended it at Doom... at the end of Doom, then. This, this feels like what's happening with the second half of Doom 2016. Just a little bit. Except they have kind of new ideas, except they're not very good. Oh my god, a cube! Please! Please, let me hit cube! Hit cube! There we go. The cube better stay there. It's staying there. I mean, like, it, it, it shouldn't, like, go back to, oh, a, right, to right, a creature right. or whatever. No, that would be ruthless. That would be, that'd be just, just, just too gets cruel. all of its health back. Far it's too cruel. All, no absolutely way. awful. Nah, I don't like it. Not a fan. I, they also have fake outs, I noticed. Like that, that right there. That was a fake out. There we go. 
Alright, let me punch this cube and then we'll get to the end of the level. Which, again, end of the level's great. If you're getting the collectibles, you can't go back and get them. I don't know why they tell you you can teleport. That doesn't help you get the collectibles, because as soon as you do the big fights on the top of both sections, you are locked out of any collectibles that you missed. You have to restart the whole level. It fucking we, sucks. We learn we can't always trust what Bethesda says anymore. Mm hmm Or id. Or id. Bethesda was innocent. No, no, no we, we can, we okay, can blame them for plenty in, of other they're things. They're innocent for that specific thing. <laughs> Not for everything. But this part fucking rules. That was all to wake up this demon who takes you up to the father's orb. Daddy's balls. I hear you wish to caress daddy's balls. Well, here, here, I'm gonna let you caress it. What's the next subject? The egg of mother or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, gross, why? It's, it's too real. There you go. You no, know, it's hell, they're kinda nasty like that. No, that's true, that's true. I mean, I looked at the Dante's Inferno demo. I know what goes on in the seven layers of hell. You're a titanic demon, why are you helping Doom Guy? I see what he does. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I like the cut of his jib. He does good. He does good work. Yeah, he does great work, and he'll make short work of me. <laughs> so here, here you go, sir. Would you like a mint? It's just safe to say, just do what he wants. It's fine. So, uh, Sam Hayden just meets us up here because uh, we he can't touch the orb. A mortal has to give up the orb. So he's just waiting here patiently, saying, "Hey, hey, get get the get daddy balls, please." He will save Earth from the demons, or Erdak from the demons, it's fine. I'm just gonna let you betray me, obviously, because this is kind of what you do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There, there it is. There, there's the orb of the father. Uh -huh, that's Dad's balls. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yep. Right in front now, of us. Now, uh, go ahead and pick it up right there and uh, give it to me. He will save me. Yeah, he's gonna save me. I, I mean, and Erdak. Right, right. His save Erdak. He actually gives him a look. Huh? Huh? Pick up Daddy Ball? Okay. Uh, almost have it. Oh my god. Uh, uh, nope! 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 Uh -uh. And we just crushed the father's testicle. Oh! Yep. A lot of body horror happening in this one. So we just told Sam Hayden to fuck off again. <laughs> it's such a good feeling every time we do it. Every single time, it's great. But there's another orb up here, and it is actually the Dark Lord. For this. This is the Dark Lord. Sorry. You don't take physical form if you do this. Oh, the Dark Lord will take physical form? That means I have a chance to fight him? Oh, I'm gonna go kill- yeah, yeah. Dark Lord gonna mm -hmm. kill him. I I'm gonna go Absolutely. kill the Dark Lord. And all of this was just to give a big middle finger to that guy right there. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this. Mm -hmm. I, don't worry about I hear there's a Dark Lord I get to fight after this. Ooh. I'm gonna put him in a- in a big, uh, <laughs> arena so he can't get away. <laughs> I, I thought you were about to say I'm gonna put, like, either Sam Hayden or the Dark Lord in, like, a headlock and just, like, give him a noogie or something like that. No! I am free to- Oh! Oh! oh stop! And then Doom Guy just licks his finger and goes, Wet Willie! Ah, that, that is disgusting! <laughs> Shuffing demons in lockers and in toilets. Swirly! Oh, no! <laughs> Okay, that's the end of the Blood Swamps. Uh, we only have one more level in Ancient Gods Part 1, and then we're done with the first half of the DLC. Oh. No. Oh, well. Only three levels, but they're ex extendo levels, so, uh... uh yeah, maybe... They feel, they feel a little grueling sometimes, but... Yeah. No, right, right, right. But hey, at least now we know that the soundtrack, you know, wasn't botched by the original creator, which means I feel okay to headbang at this song. I hope you're ready. Well, we can only headbang knowing the fact that the soundtrack was still botched, and even though Mick Gordon wins in this situation, we still lose. So, uh, can we get some heavily bit-crushed rockin' tunes that we can oh, headbang to? This is gonna sound horrible, but I'm into it! <laughs> <laughs> 